The Underground Ghost, Bethnal Green Underground, London. It is often said of London that it is the most haunted city on earth. Every place in the city seems to have its own ghost story. From the tall buildings towering over you to the shadowy dark narrow alleyways. It is not only the place above ground which has become the haunts of the spirit world but also the world underneath. Throughout the maze of tunnels and stations, which has witnessed countless murders, suicides and fatal accidents, many have claimed to have seen something that they could not rationally explain. Stay tuned as I tell you about the underground ghost of the Bethnal Green Subway. You are on Daily Horror. Here we bring you gravest of horrors that lurk around in our world, most of which are around you and you don't even have an idea. So, if you are thrilled by terror and consider yourself brave enough to face any dreadful situation, subscribe and turn on your notification to get notified anytime we put up a new video. During World War II, Bethnal Green Tube Station was one of the few stations that were the obvious choice of shelter when air raids were being carried out. On March 3, 1943, Londoners flocked through the streets and into the underground shelters. It was almost 9 in the evening when an explosion was heard and rockets were sent into the night. The explosion was so noisy that people started to panic. One hundred and seventy-three people were killed and most of them died of suffocation. There were 27 men, 84 women and 62 children that died that night. A very sad fact of this tragic event was that the German forces didn't drop a single bomb over London that night. The noise that was heard by the crowd came from the firing of 60 rockets from an anti-aircraft battery gun by the Royal Artillery in Victoria Park. It was a new defense weapon which had never been heard before and should never have been tested in a built-up area.
the tragedy in the team left a permanent print on the station and different people, including workers at the subways, have claimed to have had encounters with ghosts on different occasions in this tube. A very famous story is of one man who was working in the station and was getting ready to call it a night. The last train had departed and all the staff had gone home apart from him. He secured the station, turned off the lights and went back to his office to finish off some paperwork. He had not been back in the office very long before he started hearing children sobbing. At first, he shrugged it off and carried on walking, but the crying grew louder and louder. After that, he heard female voices and screams, as well as noises which he could not identify. He described the sound as similar to people who are panicking. The sounds lasted for 10 to 15 minutes and he was so frightened that he ran out of the office and rushed to the top of the building hallway to get away from it. The same sounds have been heard by staff at night on many occasions. Though there are no reported ghost sightings at the Bethnal Green, the screams and the noise, however, is something that will leave you in deep fear. If you are unlucky enough to find yourself alone in the station, especially at night, you might hear the screams of those who died, along with the sad sound of children sobbing in the dark. The noise rises to a dissonance before disappearing as quickly as it began. The events that caused the unnatural events that happened in this tube took place long time ago. Yet, the effect is still felt today. What has been your ghost experience at the Bethnal Green Underground? Have you by any chance heard the voices? Do you believe the claims of the voices or you think it's just illusions? Give us your thoughts in the comment section, we will surely interact with them. Did you enjoy this video? Please like and share it. This will encourage us to bring you more content that will raise your hairs and send chills down your spine. Till next time, remember to stay spooky.